My name is Terry Gillock. I am a nurse by trade. I am a wife of 21 years. I have three children and three grandchildren who call me Gigi, so I'm not a grandma. I'm too young to be grandma. Um, I am also a two-time breast cancer survivor. In 2010, I was first diagnosed with breast cancer and I had a lumpectomy and underwent radiation. After that, I was fine for 10 years. All of my mammograms were normal. And in 2021, I was diagnosed again with invasive breast cancer this time. I underwent a double mastectomy. I had gotten septic from my reconstruction and had to have them removed. When I went to Carlinville Area Hospital, I thought I had the coronavirus. I was dehydrated, I was running a really high fever, and just very fatigued and lethargic. Really looking back, it's, I mean, it's been an extremely long journey. This started more than 10 years ago for us, and uh, it's a big scare in your life when that happens. And it's just kind of like when uh, she called me the second time, we were actually working a snowstorm on the interstate, and she was crying. She said, honey, you got to come home. And I remember thinking, like, I can't believe this is all happening again. You know, we went through this 10 years ago, and I was right out at the exit 60 on the interstate, and that's probably the longest five miles I've ever driven in my life to come home and think, we got to face this again. And uh, we did, and we got through it. And, and of course, the care that Carnival provided was, was second to none. They were right there with us, so. And they got us back to the road, recovering and happy and healthy again, so very thankful for it. I can start with the chemotherapy. I had to do that um, every week. Um, so after my diagnosis, when my chemotherapy started, I was very fortunate that Carlinville Area Hospital offered an infusion unit. I did not have to travel to Springfield or to St. Louis to receive my chemotherapy. I was able to do that every week for three months, 12 weeks I think it was, so three months. And then after that, I now I continue to have infusions every three weeks. Again, still at Carlinville Area Hospital, which is extremely, extremely convenient. The level of care I received at Carlinville Area Hospital blew off the charts on a scale of one to 10, off the charts. The staff there made me feel like a rock star. From reception, they had my paperwork ready for check-in, sent me on down to the infusion room, met me with smiling faces, good mornings, how are yous. They were very in tune to treating me with dignity, respect, and just to let you know that they truly cared. I mean, I love working with patients, and I think Terry and I connected pretty quick. She's got an awesome sense of humor, especially, you know, everything she's been through. She could not have such a positive attitude, which just makes me love her more. That's why I love what I do. I mean, because each day is different, each person's different. To be able to see someone who comes in and can't, you know, lift their arm, hook their bra, put their shirt on, to be fully functioning again is why I do what I do. And I think here at Carlinville, we're able to spend quality one-on-one -on -one individual time. You get to know each other. She may know way more about my family than she wants to <laughs> and my kids. And it's like, what are you doing this weekend? What did you do kind of thing? And it just, it's why I love my job and why I keep doing it. We're just one of the care teams that takes care of the patients. And Terry has been a really joy um, to work with. Um, she's always been very positive, And lots of times you got a blessing from her more than she did um, from us. But it just makes you want to do your best so they get the best care um, they can here at Carlinville. Over the course of 10 years with my breast cancer journey, Carlinville Area Hospital has been a staple in my family's life. I have a daughter that works there. Um, my children go there to see their pediatrician in the uh, MOB building. We really try and utilize their services as much as we can. They have given me great care. They have given my family great care. They have given me convenience 
peace of mind, and have made my breast cancer journey a lot more tolerable, a lot more successful. They've made my journey very successful. 